in this illustration it is given a system consists of a ball of radius capital r carrying a spherically symmetrical charge and surrounding space is filled with a charge of volume density rho equal to alpha divided by r where alpha is a constant and r is the distance from the center of the ball okay we are having a system of the charge here one is fixed charge that is a occupied by the ball and second charge is having the non uniform charge density and uh, it is having alpha divided by r relation okay and in next part of the question it is given find the ball's charge for which the magnitude of the electric field strength vector is independent of r outside the ball right we need to calculate the charge of the ball for which the electric field outside the ball is independent of the distance of the point under consideration from the center of the ball and it is also asked to find the strength of the electric field obviously this electric field will be the constant if it is independent of r and it is also given the permittivity of the ball and surrounding space is assumed to be equal to unity okay so let us make the diagrammatical situation for this problem this one you can observe this is a ball radius capital r and suppose this ball is having charge capital q and suppose we have a certain point here this point at a distance is small r from the center of this ball and if electric field is independent of r that means we need to find the electric field at this position for calculating the electric field we know we need to use gauss theorem and we have the gauss theorem that is closed surface integral equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon naught okay that means for calculating electric field at this position we need to select a gaussian surface for this situation gaussian surface should be spherical a sphere of radius is small r you can observe here the sphere of radius is small r will consist of this charge and charge of this medium and charge of this medium is not uniformly distributed that's why we need to calculate charge occupied from this surface to this surface we, for the calculation of this one for this purpose what we will do we will select a gaussian surface suppose we have selected gaussian surface spherical like this okay and for calculating the total charge enclosed by this gaussian surface we need to select a spherical cell suppose we have a spherical cell of thickness dr like this okay now we can apply gauss law on this gaussian surface electric field will be constant and direction of electric field will be if charge is positive direction of electric field will be away from the center suppose we have selected certain patch here this is the electric field vector and area vector is also in this direction that means this term left hand term that should be equal to e multiplied by area of this gaussian surface that equal to 4 pi r square okay and now calculate this part this should be capital q plus charge occupied by this region this should be calculated by using the method of integral for applying method of integration we need to calculate the charge in this section we know the surface area of this sphere is 4 pi r square and thickness is dr that means volume of this region should be equal to 4 pi r square multiplied by dr okay if we multiply this volume with this charge density we can have the charge dq dq is the charge occupied by this region that means the total charge should be capital q plus integration of dq so we can write now this expression okay this is the volume of this region and this is the density volume density and the limit of integration is started from capital r and to small r now let us write this term to the next space this one okay now we can observe here epsilon not is a constant and this 4 pi and alpha is also constant so now we can write this term right let us do one thing 
let us write 4 pi and alpha outside the integral like this. And integration of r is r square divided by 2. So, this integration will reduce to this term and limit is capital R to small r. So, after placing the limit, we will have this term. Okay. Now, we can write electric field. Electric field should be equal to this term divided by 4 pi r square. Right. Now, let us expand this term like this. Now, it is required in the question. You can observe this electric field vector is independent of r. If this electric field is independent of r, that means this term, you can observe this term q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square and alpha r square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. The summation of these two terms should be 0. Right? It means this term should be equal to this one. Now, we can simplify. We, we will have this value q equal to 2 pi alpha r square. So, the charge occupied by this ball should be equal to 2 pi alpha r square. Now, the value of electric field should be equal to alpha divided by 2 pi absolute naught. This is the electric field that will be constant independent of a small r. Dear aspirants, Sengage India has launched the new edition of our G Advanced Physics books. Please visit www.sengage.co.in to buy a copy. You can also buy the books from Amazon or Flipkart.